A lone woman follows a path that others have taken, wading through floodwaters which collected along this walkway, only to stumble and fall. She is saved from drowning by a policeman on patrol in the area. One cannot tell it now, but on normal days, this flooded road is dry and dusty. With no alternative paths to go through, because of heavy rains, residents of Wondruk have had to brave accumulating floodwaters to get on to the other side. Over the last couple of months, thousands of families across South Sudan have been affected by torrential rains. Their homes and crops have been destroyed, and some have also fallen ill due to waterborne diseases or malaria passed on by mosquitoes which breed in stagnant waters. The malaria now has become high and high. مرض كثير بعوض كثير ملاريا كثير هذا المسافة كل ما يوم بيملا ناس كبار أيانين شوفا أيانين هذا زاد نفس زاد أيان كان جاي مسافة هنا دارا دارا إلاج. Sandra Henry, who lives in Turile, does not sleep well at night these days. Her neighbor's house was destroyed, and she is afraid that any heavy rain that pours will also affect her house. لما المطر يجي أنا ما بنوم نوم كامل. With roads flooding, different parts have to be sought, and driving across through much of their area is difficult. We have witnessed and have seen many places affected by the water, and there's still flood uh, uh, at that uh, places. Even uh, the entrance of Mayana is full of water. People can have access uh, to come out or go in. The heavy rains which have been pounding vast areas of South Sudan in the recent months has flooded various towns and destroyed homesteads. And this resulted to President Salva Kiel setting up a task force aimed at mapping out flood affected areas. Hydro meteorological readings indicate a steady rise in water in water levels and rainfall, meaning that flooding may increase or remain stagnant on the ground for a, rel a relatively long period. The United Nations mission in South Sudan, UNMIS, has in the meantime been assisting local authorities in some of the areas affected by widespread flooding and torrential rains. In Boa town of Jongle State, which was flooded when the Nile burst its banks, the Korean engineering company built dikes along the river to keep the waters away. Equipped with excavators and oil pressure cranes, they fortified the banks of the Nile to help stop further floods and contain rising waters. In northern Ba'el Ghazal and Warb states, UNMIS provided helicopter flights for the state's local authorities and ministries to carry out a needs assessment. It is a, a flood, natural flood. It, it is actually destroy all villages and crops and even animals who were evacuated also. With villages having to be evacuated because of destruction from the floods, the government announced that over 200,000 people have been affected by the persisting floods. Making the announcement, President Salva Kiir said that his government is dedicating up to 2 million American dollars to assist flood victims who were in need of humanitarian assistance. Your government has approved the sum of seven million South Sudanese pounds for the supply of the immediately needed items. We understand that our, our partners are supporting us with the provision of various food items. Flooding has affected about six states in the country. Northern by El Ghazal, Unity, Upper Nile, Warab, Western by El Ghazal, and Lake State, where rivers have burst their banks and flooded homesteads and roads.
conditions here as you can see many vehicles stuck on the road from Turale to Ajakwach and people are just moving on foot. And as the rainy season nears its end and with various forms of assistance being sought, the President has called on South Sudanese to remain vigilant, cooperative and courageous as various rescue missions aimed at alleviating the suffering of those exposed to the floods continue. This is despite the destruction and effects on many.